Hi guys, I just wanted to make this video because of the how much animosity I've been seeing raise up to do with the Ukraine-Russian war thing that's going on. Um, we're, you know, everyone hates what's going on, or anyone with a heart. Um, but we are being manipulated as well by the mainstream media, by the uh, you know, Instagram, Facebook, showing different things. Um, there is an agenda behind what's going on. And the, the story that we're hearing is a lot different and a lot bigger than what we understand because the mainstream media is not telling us the full truth. In fact, I'm going to show you a video right now of a news uh, presenter talking about how she was shocked about all the things that she was able to debunk of fake news stories to do with what Russia has done to Ukraine and things like this, and vice versa, what Ukraine has done to Russia. Um, and again, we're not for, we're not here to go, oh, I'm for Russia, I'm for Ukraine, I'm for none of them. I'm for the people. And the people are getting hurt because of things that we don't know of going on because of governments allowed and work with this country and then with that country and they're doing little secret deals and stuff like this that is not being told because it's the globalists don't want to be told, don't want it to be spoken about. And NATO, the, this other corrupt uh, organization, acting like it's uh, something good. It's just so much more to it, guys, than what we understand. Uh, just a few months ago, Putin decided he's going to not trade with US bonds anymore and things like this which most nations do, and he's going to go straight to gold from now on. And so out of the blue, this comes up, this conflict. Um, Gaddafi was saying the same thing before he got shot and attacked uh, as well um, in Libya. So there's so much more to it than what we have been told or we understand. So I want us to please stop attacking one another. I've seen uh, friends... Ukrainian friends and Russian friends uh, attacking one another because of what's going on, what the governments have done or what the government of Russia attacked. It wasn't the Russian people. It was the government of Russia and their army that attacked Ukraine. And then people are blaming Russians. Oh, the Russians, the Russians. No, it's the Russian government. Uh, every time, it's always, we say it like it's the whole nation that was all for this. Like I said before, some of the Russians have been trying to protest, arrested post things on Facebook, uh, arrested. Um, so they can't even speak up, but I've seen them try. So let's have, and the sanctions that they're putting on people, on the Russians, again now, all these countries act like, oh, look how good I'm doing. Why? Because you're a little puppet, whatever the globalist leaders that rule you have told you to do next, you're doing as well. You play a part. There's YouTubers of, uh, Russian YouTubers that are not getting paid out from their YouTube channel, usually how they'll get paid out, not because they're speaking about anything on their YouTube channel that's to do with the war, but because they're Russian. Now talk about discrimination and racism. They won't pay them out. What's that got to do? How is that their fault? What's that got to do with them getting their payment? They're getting their, their income that comes in to help them live. You understand that there's orchestras and musicals that have been shut down because the, the guys that are doing it are Russian. Talk about discrimination and racism. What did they do, man? What was, how is that their fault? Because of what Putin done. All these sanctions that are happening and things getting taken away from the Russian people as well. Not allowed these passports taken away from them from other nations that gave them a passport or allowed them to live in that nation or have companies in that nation that will shut down the company, that government. Why? Because it's a little puppy dog to the globalists and what they told them to do next to do. And they're bullying the normal people that did nothing. It was the government and their army that did it. And this is what happens. And through the social media, and through the, through the uh, main fake stream, fake, uh, uh, fake news media, the mainstream media, what are they doing? They're egging this on. And I'm going to play you a clip right now, which shows how much things they've been lying about, like it's been debunked of stories that are not even true, so it can cause a response to us emotionally, so we can get angry at people. Russian people, or, and they do this over and over. Why? Why? Isn't that enough that it's actually, there is attacks happening in Ukraine and people are getting hurt, murdered, their property being destroyed and things like this, and they fling their own nation because of Putin's anger, evil anger, and uh, whatever you know trade agreement they, they went back on in Ukraine and blah, 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 between governments, and then the people are copying it. 
you know, the the let me just play this clip, guys. And we got to really don't let them play us like they're puppets, gullible, believing everything we're told, fuming our emotions so we can play a part of their little agenda to hate one another, to be divided, to be distracted by looking at each other. Uh, one another while these guys are unified to bring an agenda behind us where it's to do with worldwide control let's not keep being fooled by this but let me play this clip right now and just i'll talk through it as well but watch this guys very and i agree so much with most or if not all that she says i'm only going to play a few minutes not all of it watch this what's on your radar kim well, there's no doubt. Emotions are running very high in the war between Russia and Ukraine. People are upset, in yep. shock, and disbelief. But one thing that isn't helping at all is the unbelievable amount of fake images and videos being spread, not only on social media, but also by legitimate news outlets. Yep. I even made the mistake myself here on Rising on Friday when I stated I was impressed with Zelensky getting into full military gear to fight on the front lines. Turns out that was an image from last April. I fell for it. I yep. apologize. So did I. Unfortunately, I'm not alone in falling for it. Yes. Build, a political news outlet Lies. in Germany, shared a video of what looked to be a horrific bombing by the Russians in Kiev during one of their broadcasts. But it turns out the footage was from a 2015 chemical explosion in Tianjin, China. Newsmax used a photo of a crying older woman. Again, see, why would they need to do that? Why do they want to fume you see, there's so much evil that they're producing. They're so much motivated by evil doing this to us. The everyday people that would watch this news thinking that they're just sharing what happened. Isn't it enough what's already happening? Why are they trying to make fake stories, things blowing up, blah, 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 and trying to make it? Yeah, yeah. Why? Because they want, it's so demonic, it's spiritual, so we can get fueled with anger and respond. And then we're used to attack. There is kids attacking one another in schools putting down other Russian kids, like as if the kids that are Russian are at fault for being born Russian. That's what God ordained for them, to be born in Russia. Enough. Let's stop attacking each other. You understand? If it's not Ukraine, Russia, it'll be another country against another country. And then again, they'll build us up so we can focus to get angry at what that government and their army did to that country. It's your fault because you were born in that country too. Really? Come on, guys. Let's calm down. Let's stop being like this. Let's be... Uh, let's keep our hearts stewarded and uh, allow ourselves to be used to help whoever is needing help, either it be Ukrainian, Russian, or any other nation, because there's so many nations being in war a lot longer than what happened just now, and they're not being showed on uh, Facebook and you know on media, on the mainstream, people being slaughtered for years, war still going on and on and on. In Iran, oppression, Christians being slaughtered by the millions year by year in some nations. You don't hear this in the mainstream news or nothing. There is no flags for Christians or Iranians or you know all these different nations that are copying it in different uh, uh, wars that are still active and still going on. They doing this on purpose. They now it's it's right for us to stand for people that are going through things. Of course, I'm not so, talking about that. I'm just saying there is an intentional manipulation happening towards us while they bring out an agenda, making sure that we're emotionally hating and angry, so we don't um, so we don't be used in the capacity we were meant to be used in helping and loving and taking care of people, no matter what their nation is, no matter what their color is. Let's, uh, let me continue. Standing in front of her devastated home with... The woman standing in front of her devastated uh, home. The caption, the current devastation in Ukraine. The current. But the photo was from 2015. 2015. An Italian news broadcast used footage from the video game War Thunder Italy. when talking about the war in Ukraine. No doubt viewers seeing a rain of missiles were horrified. Now think about that. Even Italian reporters, this is everywhere. It's not just U.S. media these globalists have their tentacles in every nation they're going for global takeover and they've been already taking over media platforms and governments for years and so this is why they're able to uh even an italian news media channel is also manipulating using fake footage and claiming that that's coming from what's happening right now in ukraine with, uh, from by russians and it wasn't it was from a video game why do you want to do that? Why do you have such a heart to want to do this? Because that's what they're told to do. But let's continue. 
So I want to go through some of the most egregious examples of the fake news circulating around, but I have to preface this because we are in a Western nation that is supportive of Ukraine in this conflict. The vast majority of the fake news that we see circulating is anti-Russian. So I'll be debunking a lot of this type of information. However, I have no doubt similar fake news is circulating in Russia and in pro-Russian countries, showing fake news that is disparaging of Ukrainians. Exactly. We're just not seeing much of it, so I can't debunk it. Now, that's what I'm saying. All the nations, our nation, the governments in our nations are all part of this, and they also try to get the people manipulated and deceived into wanting to cheer on each nation attacking the other nation. Just like what happened with 9-11, it was on purposely done. You know what's going on there. Uh, for many of you, other you just investigate. Um, but what was it to go to an attack and uh, because they have uh, nuclear weapons and they couldn't find anything, but they still attacked it. You understand? So, um, and, but, but the Americans were cheering on, yeah, yeah, go attack, look at them, what they've done. Because they needed the people to want it, because there's a lot more of us. They don't want us awake. They don't want us to, to function in the proper capacity of care and love and, and um, for, for another. Not, not because of what nation they're from, just for another human being, another person. So let's uh, just keep listening. Great words she's talking about and the way she puts it all together. And I agree completely. Listen. So keep this in mind before you lash out at me and call me a pro-Putin Russian asset at the end of this segment. Yeah, me so too. So let's start with what I think is the most astonishing example of fake news circulating. It was being reported that 13 heroic soldiers on Snake Island were confronted by a, a Russian warship. The audio recording shows the Russians telling the Ukrainians to lay down their arms to avoid bloodshed and unjustified deaths. The Ukrainians are infamously heard saying, Russian warship, go F yourself. It was then reported they fought valiantly until they were all killed by the Russians. President Zelensky even announced he would posthumously award the men Medals of Valor. Well, it turns out whomever claimed they had died was mistaken. Instead, the Ukrainian border guard disputed whether anyone was killed. And shortly after, video footage emerged of the Russians giving food and water to the 82 men, not 13, from Snake Island, who were then being transferred to Crimea. Some of the soldiers have now given interviews saying if the Russians wanted to bury him, they would have. And now they instead will go home to their families. Another shocking. Do you hear that? Another person, she says, mistakenly, it's just straight out lying. You know, they just. Anyway, let's just continue. But just a crazy to me how they're willing to do this to people, to this into the world, to be participants in what came down in a war and in in. Uh, raising up chaos around the world it's just amazing how someone can sleep at night being part of this as these reporters lie in mainstream media just unbelievable video was of a tank swerving in the What's street this? and running over a civilian car totally shocking video jaw dropping but thank goodness the person actually survived this crushing experience media was reporting this as a russian tank and using it to show the callousness of the russians and their invasion but it turns out this was actually a ukrainian tank that had lost control and accidentally ran over that vehicle and i'm sure everyone involved was relieved that person was okay now i want to play you that i also watched this clip and i thought man that is disgusting like that is how heartless, you know, what, what, how can the Russians have, you know, just this clip really messed with your emotions, um, no matter how much you're trying not to get emotional about it. But they played it out as if this Russian tank went and just intentionally ran over uh, this car. I'll play the clip. And then they, they found out that it was a lie. What the media was portraying was a lie. And it was actually a Ukrainian tank that just lost control and ran over this car with a person in it but the person is okay and anyone that was saying that because they were saying no no russian tanks have a z on it a white z no 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 that you're you know how can you be you're, you're an anti whatever you know there's always a, a lingo that they will say for anyone that says anything against the narrative or speaks out maybe it's this or maybe another angle you know not because they and they'll say oh, you're pro this it doesn't mean you're pro something just because you're saying but but don't they tanks have usually a z if it's the from russian tanks you know, you can't point anything out, otherwise you get attacked by the, the brainwashed, by those who have been conditioned by the media. So be careful that you don't become one of those people, guys. Just stop watching the mainstream media. Research for yourself. There's other platforms to, li to listen to legit people that have not have a record of lying to the public. Let's continue. Look, this is the actual clip that, was, uh, that she's talking about because she doesn't play it. 
So I'll play it for you. Okay, so I'll continue. That was a Ukrainian tank that, uh, you know, un didn't want to do that, mistakenly lost control and ran over uh, a car with the Ukrainian person inside. Uh, but the person's not injured, thank God. Um, but this is the stuff that we're selling to everybody, promoting as look at how evil Russia, what the Russian did, and just before you told, they told you about the story about the people that they caught, the Ukrainians that they caught, they fed them and then released them. You understand? So this, this, they, they, they don't want to share this kind of stuff where it shows the humanity, you know, so they can get us angry, keep us angry, keep us fighting, prolong it. Don't have. In fact, the president or the prime minister, whatever they call him, of Ukraine said, uh, um, what's it called? Ru the Russian president Putin said, okay, as long as you don't become part of NATO we can talk and stop this and so when he was considering this they started attacking him as being uh, brainwashed by putin and things like this immediately they turned on him why because there's an agenda going on they they're using him as a puppet they're using ukraine government as a puppet to bring uh this agenda of blaming russia for the economic crisis for inflation Biden's already doing this and inflation was already happening beforehand again i don't know the full picture but there's so much other truths in the whole story that they're kept from us by the mainstream media so we can keep us to the narrative and the reason only of i'm not saying it's not true some of the stuff they're saying but only that reason so we can stay that way by feeding us this footage so we can get angry and you know then attack normal everyday russian people and remember those who are, are russians and are, they're all for what putin's doing they're silly they're just another people that are conditioned um by the media of their own nation it happens to us as well guys that we're born from generation to another generation uh get be staying angry at the things that happened the generations before 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 from a government to government and things that we're not even told about that they did and started wars and then we're also growing up in school hating the other nation and the other kids that just grew up in this next generation because they were told this by our nation told their side and this side it's just wrong just wrong no matter what killing each other and doing all this kind of stuff for whatever governments and these globalists have wanted and usually they once began it because they win no matter what both sides and who inspires this is the devil who couldn't care less which side anyone's on because he just loves death stealing killing and destroying he hates people he hates us and he wants us to be divided he wants us hurting one another let's stop this guys let's let's turn to god turn to jesus and let him change our heart and and uh give us the truth and use us while we're here on the earth to make a difference instead of making things worse even by our own tongue the way we, what things we say that can really bring damage but anyway let's continue Russian tanks are marked with white Z's, by the way, for future reference when you're looking at any video. Now, many of you saw the heart-wrenching video of the father saying a very tearful goodbye to his wife and daughter as he goes off to battle. This was being reported as a Ukrainian man sending his family to safety while he fights against the Russians. Well, the man is Ukrainian, sort of, I suppose. He's one of the rebels in the Donetsk People's Republic. He was sending his family to Russia for safety while he stayed behind to fight Ukrainian forces. Did you hear that? The original video was posted by the... The complete opposite. He was there to fight Ukraine. He was a rebel to fight Ukrainian forces. He was Ukrainian. And he was sending his family to Russia for safety. We don't hear this stuff. What I did, they used the same thing, manipulated change, and used him as a picture, like a mocking thing, to say, ah, oh, look, he sends off his family because he's going to fight the Russians and stuff. Again, I'm not saying that those things are not happening. They are. People are fleeing different nations and coming to different nations because of the the catastrophe that's going on there, the war that's happening on there, evil things are happening, murder is happening, destruction is happening. That's what happens, you know? So we're not belittling that. I'm just saying, why are they using this propaganda stuff, garbage, to inflame us, to get us, oh, you know, her, touch our heartstrings. Oh, look, this family, oh, and this woman lost her house. And there's actual things that are actually happening that that people have lost their houses and stuff. Why are they doing this? Why do they need to do this? Because they are being told to do this, to manipulate us. 
and the mayor of his town several days before the Russians invaded Ukraine. And of course, I can't leave out the ghost of Kiev. There's footage of a fighter pilot downing several Russian jets. The video, of course, went viral with millions of views. The claims are this pilot took down six Russian jets in one day. But now, by the way, that number has jumped up to 10 Russian jets being taken down. Now, a fighter pilot who takes down five planes throughout the course of their entire career is called an ace. So to have six in one day or even 10 in one week is incredible. It's actually unbelievable, in fact. And it turns out the footage is from a video game called Digital Combat Simulator. But even with this video being debunked, the former Ukrainian president, Poroshenko, is tweeting that it's real and even shared a masked photo of the pilot. Uh, and and there's real. a lot of wild claims going around of who the pilot that. is. Pilots, there's a lot of uh, talk that maybe the pilot's even a, wo a woman. And of course, it turns out that that old photo, that photo there is actually an old photo that's recirculated. So it's still unlikely the ghost of Kiev is real. But a lot of people fell for it, and you can't blame them for wanting to boost up morale, I suppose. Now, the list of this fake news or fake videos and images just is endless on social media, totally endless. I could not possibly list all of them. Um, but one thing I do want to mention is that, you know, the reason why this is so dangerous to have all of this, this fake video and, and uh, circulating around and people believing it is that it is heart-wrenching to watch. So when people see a Russian tank running over a civilian car, you know, what they think is a Russian tank running over a civilian car, or they see... Um, you know, just these really, really heart-wrenching and, and or even callous videos. It raises up emotions to a level where that is uh, maybe too much, right? And this person thinks, oh, now I'm, I'm going to, I've got to fight. Things are worse than they actually maybe are. Uh, and, and it causes people to get highly emotional and it can flame, inflame a situation to be yeah. much, much worse. So, uh, Robbie and Ryan, I'm sure you guys have seen. Now... Let me continue here. But yeah, this is what's going on, guys. I just wanted to play you that clip because I love the way she put it together, the way she, uh, you know, said, hey, listen, just because I'm saying all this doesn't mean I'm pro-Putin. Absolutely. I'm not pro-Putin. I'm not pro the other guy either. I'm not pro this war and I'm not pro any side. I hate what's going on. It's evil. It's wrong. And people are, are, are being hurt and becoming, losing their their livelihood in both sides guys losing their jobs because they're russian ukrainians losing leaving their fleeing their cities because they're being bombed and attacked in their cities and having to leave their separate families we have friend that might be leaving her husband because men can't leave from ukraine they have to stay uh to come and be safe here with her kids um things like this are going on it's just it's just terrible it's just wrong, but it needs us to snap out of it and stop taking sides of governments and what they've been doing and so much things we're not being told and manipulated so much by the mainstream media like we just saw right now, willing for them to lie to us straight out in our face using false footage intentionally knowing that. You can't mistakenly use false footage, you know? We're getting played and we've got to wake up and stop being like this and stop allowing them to do this to us and raise up and, and uh, make a change in this world because we said it's enough's enough. Stop watching these news medias. Anyway, I want to read you this post that I recently posted that um, as I close up. Okay, I wrote here. Friends, let's stop heartlessly blaming the Russian people as if it's the Russian people that attacked Ukraine. It wasn't. It was the Russian government and its president who did this. Every Russian I know hates what the Russian government is doing. So there's many Russians that do like it. But everyone I know, you know, they don't. Uh, and they're against it. Many Russians have even tried to protest in Russia and have been arrested. Many are trying to speak out and are censored. Many are praying for Ukraine and are so grieved by all this. I even had people that are still uh, know some of the stuff that's going on in the background with Ukraine, the bio labs and all these different stuff that's going on between the governments. And that's uh, the, some of the motive of uh, Putin and what he did, which is still wrong for attacking a nation and hurting people. Um, to say, oh, where's the, how do we know, you know, where's your... Where's your evidence that people, Russians are protesting? I know Russians. You know, like, uh, 
okay, reality, my wife is Russian. She flew to live with me from Russia so we can, because, you know, we got married here and uh, we live together here in this nation. Um, there is uh, ample evidence of that happening. And there was even um, pictures, but they were taken down from the Russian side because uh, Russia is really reacting to Facebook and not allowing people to post anything um, and things like this. Let me continue. So just be careful, guys. Okay, it's not about air hey, prove this and prove that. Like uh, you will need to take a side. Just be for the people that are copying it in this. Like I said before, kids are getting attacked in school uh, because they're Russian. Come on, man. What do the kids do? <laughs> you know, it's wrong, of course. But why are you attacking kids that are right just because they're Russian? Isn't that racism? Discrimination? Let's stop falling for the government's tricks and the mainstream media tactics to divide us as a people, blaming and hating one another from generation to generation for what these power, money-hungry, bloodthirsty governments have done. And then they brainwash us to play along by attacking the innocent people that don't have anything to do with this instead of putting the blame at those criminals which are actually doing the evil, which is the governments. Who do you think these sanctions are hurting that these criminal, hypocrite governments and world organizations are putting on Russia? It's not hurting Putin and his government with his mansions and his... Uh, and the government, uh, you know, well off paid and things like these officials. It's the everyday people that are suffering that had nothing to do with this. Let's wake up, friends, and stop being so easily used like pawns in their manipulative games. So I wanted to end with that. And uh, yeah, share it, guys, so we can help one another uh, set our heart right and stop being used by their manipulation and lying. All right, guys. See ya.